As a professional programmer, you code for money. This is super simple, three words, code for money. But very often, you prepare a lot for the technical interview. You carefully answer to human resources questions. Some of them are stupid, but uh, you have you have no choice. Sometimes it just makes no sense, but you're ready for it. When it comes to money, suddenly your IQ goes from genius to five years old child. The problem is the guys in front of you know that you're going to make a lot of mistakes when it comes to money and they will take advantage of it. How so? As a programmer, as a technical guy, you think that you deserve a specific amount of money depending on your technical skills. This is absolutely false. I wouldn't say absolutely, but yeah, you need to be able to program, obviously, but there are no functions that would take as an argument your skill level and that you would return a specific income. Why is that? Because this is when you have to use an extra skill, which is negotiation. You will soon notice that guys who are really good technically speaking, make less money than guys in your team who are less good than the good technical guys simply because a super technical guy thinks that he gonna get, he will get the money he deserves according to his level, skill level. But the problem is, and you may have noticed it during an interview, usually you have, you meet with three kind of people. First, you meet the human resource guy who will present the company and talk to you about yourself and stuff like this. Then you will have the technical guys who will test you technically, either by asking you questions or with a peer programming or technical questions. And then you will have the money guy. If it's a small company, it could be the boss itself or his CFO. It's a, if it's a big company, it could be also, the human resource guy or another one who will uh, ask you how much you want, basically. Or sometimes they will try to trick you and try to make you think that uh, you cannot negotiate. So there is this income and uh, yeah, take it or leave it. But this is not the case. Very often you can at least um, suggest yourself for them to choose between a minimum amount of money and a maximum amount of money. For example, let's say that you could ask for Maybe you don't dare to specifically ask, I don't know, 38,000 a year. So maybe you will say, okay, I want between 38 and 42,000 a year. So this gives you two huge advantages. The first one is that um, chances are you will have more than you expected at first. So maybe you wanted 38. So then it's way better to ask an income between 40 and 43. And you will immediately see also, first, so as I told you, you will get more money because you, you will put the lower income above the amount you really want. And then if the guys give you exactly the minimum amount you want, so it could be a sign that they are cheap. So it will be hard um, down the road to ask for raises. But if you're lucky, they may give you something that is close to the maximum amount. So would be a good news and this is very important especially as a junior developer to ask for the maximum amount of money you can you can get because then when you will switch and go to another company very often the guys will ask you how much you made in the previous job so you see if you ask less than you could have asked then it will be hard to ask more than 10 or 15% more than you had in your previous job. So you see, if you screw yourself on the first job, then it will be something that will follow you for, I wouldn't say the rest of your career, but maybe for two or three years. Remember that guy who went to business schools often think that technical guys like programmers are dumb when it comes to money. And unfortunately, sometimes they are right. Also remember that very often they see you just as a cell in a spreadsheet. So you don't have to have any feeling for these guys. Ask them the maximum amount of money you can. Forget about the link between skills and the amount of money. It's loosely coupled, as we say in programming, <laughs> for other concepts. What advice could you give to someone, to a junior developer, negotiating his first income? Please leave a comment.